Hello and welcome to DigiWeb. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Fritzbox 7360 Wi-Fi repeater device and how we go about setting it up as a Wi-Fi repeater in our premises. So the first thing we need to do is take a look at our Wi-Fi connections here and we can see here from my home Wi-Fi the signal is quite low and I also have the DigiWeb Wi-Fi repeater set up and I'm getting a nice strong signal off the repeater. Now we need to make sure we're not connected to my home Wi-Fi at the moment. That's our primary modem. We want to make sure that this button here says connect. That means we're not connected to it. If this button says disconnect, you need to disconnect from your Wi-Fi network. We want to log into our DigiWeb Wi-Fi repeater in order to set it up. So go ahead and click on connect for the DigiWeb Wi-Fi repeater and enter in the 20 digit network key that's printed on the bottom of the device. It's 20 digits long, it's all numbers, no dashes or letters or anything like that. Go ahead and click next. Now this will take a moment and what you'll see is it'll show you that you're connected with no internet. So right here you can see did you have Wi-Fi repeater, no internet, however it is secured. And you can see the button down here says disconnect which means we definitely are connected to it. If it still said connect, it means we weren't connected to it. So let's log into our Wi-Fi repeater and set it up. So open up your browser and type in the address for the modem, which is 192.168.178.1 or the address fritz.box. So you need to log in here with the password 1234. First thing you need to check is make sure it's up to date. So the latest software is 06.83. And now we need to switch the device into advanced view. So here you can see your standard view. Click on that one time. And then go ahead and reload the page. So we re-enter our, our password, 1234 here. Go ahead and click login again. And now we'll be able to see the advanced view options. So advanced view there. Let's go ahead and click on wireless. And you'll see the option down here at the bottom for repeater. So in the repeater section, we'll see two modes here, two operating modes, operating mode access point and repeater. You need to make sure we check the repeater button here. Scroll right down and you'll see my home Wi-Fi. So we need to select the network that we wish to repeat. So put a tick in the box next to your home Wi-Fi network. And go right to the bottom then and type in the password for your current Wi-Fi network. So your primary Wi-Fi network. In this case, it's a custom password we have set up. So this is for your main Wi-Fi network. You need to enter in here. Go ahead and click next. Now this will just take a moment while the device registers. Once it's complete, you'll see either a green tick or a new page here, Fritzbox 7560. So what's happening here is we can now see our main modem, which means the operation was successful. So we can log into our main modem here with the password that's on the bottom of your main modem called Fritzbox password. And here I am logged into my main Fritzbox 7560. So if I check the network overview here, we'll see all the devices connected. So I can see my main internet connection here, which is connected at 24.9 megabits per second. And I can see the Fritzbox repeater and my laptop. So let's check if it works. And there we go. So we're officially connected to the internet using our Wi-Fi repeater. So if we take a look at our Wi-Fi settings one more time. So you can see we're connected to DigiWeb Wi-Fi repeater, which is using my home Wi-Fi as its main connection out onto the internet. So before, if I was to connect to my home Wi-Fi here, we would have quite a low signal, but now that we're connected to the Wi-Fi repeater, we've got full signal in those hard to reach places in our home. So thanks for watching my video today. 
don't forget to drop us a like on Facebook and leave us a review on the Trustpilot review site. You can always subscribe to our YouTube channel here for any future content or tutorials we might update. So thanks for watching my video today and thanks for choosing DigiWeb.